Thank you for talking with us tonight. Pleasure. What can you tell us about the film? What it's about for people who haven't seen it yet? Well, Swimming with Men is about a bunch of male synchronized swimmers. Really, it's about middle-aged men. And, um, and I think it's... A lot of people are comparing it to Full Monty, which I'm always a bit nervous about, you know, because that's a fabulous story about, you know, in a certain moment about poverty. This is about middle age, and it's quite a, an interesting, amorphous subject, and how they deal with, as a man, as you get a bit older. I know a little bit about this. Your social circle shrinks a little bit, or you're not quite as comfortable in what you're doing with your life, where are you going? So this is about a band of guys who kind of hook up um, in the swimming pool and it helps them, if you like, reconnect. Uh, we have Rob Brydon playing the lead character who is a man, if you like, disconnected from his life. He's, he's not getting on well at work or at home with his wife. But swimming is his hobby and he, um, and he gets in the pool and meets a whole bunch of guys who are doing these strange patterns in that pool and gets very, very sort of excited and drawn into it. And after a while, his life starts to come back together. So it's a sort of, um, I suppose it's a comedy about reconnecting. And um, hopefully it's uplifting. And I think it's surprisingly touching. And it's also a true story, right? It's based on a very beautifully made documentary in Sweden about seven years ago, uh, about a real gang of Swedish synchronized swimmers who are invited to join the, the world championships which uh, which of course is probably not as fast a league as many other world championships might be there are so many male swimmers but no they joined and had a lovely time and it's and it's the same kind of themes which um, uh, which we use in fact I went across and watched them train I, we brought them into our film so the Swedish swimmers do come and um, play a supporting part in uh, as my brother just coming past um, and uh, and they're really um, yeah it gives a kind of level of authenticity and um, a real charm I think to the film. What do you think people are gonna take away watching this film? I think it's quite interesting depends who you are you know if you're a woman I'm, I hope it's interesting to see what men are talking about in the locker room a little bit uh, it's not a bawdy film but it's kind of men being vulnerable and um, at a moment when I suppose the prevailing narrative about masculinity can be a little dark at the moment. There's a little more light here. And uh, so it's asking people to perhaps understand characters going through to different degrees of trauma. Some of it's much more lighthearted than that and some of it's playful. But at the heart of it, it's about guys trying to find out what they're doing and where they've got to in that point in their lives. And was the Full Monty an inspiration for you? I, I would. I, I love that film. I mean, actually, in many ways, I try to slightly avoid it because, as I say, it's the antagonist in that story is poverty, is class, it's north-south. Ours is really about middle age, and so it's a completely different quality of film. But there are overlaps because we've got, you know, a bunch of fabulous ensemble British actors together, and uh, so there are some similarities. And I think it's got the same sense of. Perhaps it's uh, the vulnerable men, um, men prepared to expose themselves to varying degrees. Um, yeah, so there are that, that's an influence, but I, many different things for me. I've, uh, Marx Brothers, I've always loved the Marx Brothers. Uh, there's a kind of level of suppressed anarchy in those films, which we have moments of here, um, the degree of kind of chaos on the edge of frame. And um, yeah, so, but, but I think, you know, I hope it stands in its own right. And lastly, what is next for you? Do you know, I don't know. I was hoping you'd tell me. I've got a bunch of things. I've, yeah, why not? You could tell me. Tell me. I'm up for anything. No, I'm, I've written a, a, the first episode in a series, a kind of gothic thriller, um, which is very exciting. But I've got another uh, couple of films that I'm pushing forward. So I'm not quite sure which one will happen first. You have to push everything at once. Well, thank you very much and enjoy the rest of the evening. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Bye.